All right. So wide receivers are next. Now, I'm not going to list the wide receivers that play this year. because Basically, all the wide receivers played this year. Um, but I'm going to break down each of the ones that you know made an impact. Like, I'm not going to talk about Antonio Gandy Golden. I'm not going to talk about Calvin Harmon. You know, players like that. Just because they didn't, you know, they weren't even active on game day. They were inactive. So, you know what? I'm also going to talk about the tight ends, Logan Thomas, Ricky, you know, all, all wide receiving, you know, from wide receivers to tight ends. Now, Terry McLaurin was the beast of the year, you know, 1,000 yards receiving, got a, you know, I think it was like six or seven touchdowns this year. So, you know, and this is that he had yet again for the third straight year in his career mediocre quarterback play um you know Taylor Heineke throwing him the ball this year last year was guys like Dwayne Haskins Taylor Heineke Alex Smith you know guys like that and then um the year prior Case Keenum you know teams like that you know players like that so you know another thousand yards receiving year for um Jerry McLaurin he, he automatically gets an A it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard for me to give him a lesser grade unless he really stinks it up. Um, his last year of his deal, last year of his contract. So, um, right now, Terry McLaurin gets an A. I'm gonna talk about the other wide receiving course. Curtis Samuel gets an automatic fail because he got hurt. He was hurt most of the season with a groin injury, then a an, um leg injury. Blah blah blah. Even when he was on the field for the hand, you know, handful of plays, um, you know, the offensive coordinator in Scott Turner didn't use him all that well. So, you know, didn't do enough for me. He gets an F. Uh, third wide receiver, Diami Brown, another guy that gets an F, you know, but it took him a long time to get impact, you know, you know, make an impact like the 48 yard bomb. That he got in the Dallas game, you know, I said, woohoo, congratulations, he finally did it, or whatever. So he gets, you know, another guy that gets an F for me, you know, take this as a learning curve, come back stronger next year. Hopefully, you get bumped up in the ratings or you get a better grade from me next year, Deami Brown. Um, next up is gonna be DeAndre Carter and Dex Milne. Dex Milne played okay um, to a certain point. You know, I think, you know what, I'm going to give him an F2 just because he just didn't do enough for me. He did make big-time plays, you know, here and there, but not enough, you know, small sample size. So I don't know if it's going to be fair of me to give him an F, but I'm also going to give him an F as well um, just because I didn't see, you know, much of him, and he really didn't make, you know, impact on the year either uh, De uh deandre carter is a guy that actually surprisingly stepped up this year when he when it mattered most and i'll talk about more of him on you know more on him on the kickoff and pump returns too though um because i want to i want to talk to him on his special teams unit side of things but on the wide receiver you know made clutch catches made big time catches him and adam humphreys um, I'm going to put these guys in a pa uh, in a packaged deal. You know, made clutch kick, you know, clutch catches this year. So, um, you know, I got to give them praise where it's due. You know, they did it. He, they weren't an every down um, wide receiver. But when you needed them to make clutch catches, they did. DeAndre Carter did make a few clutch, clutch catches here and there. He did have that one drop. That could have made a difference in the first Dallas game, but it is what it is. So Adam Humphreys and DeAndre Carter as a you know package deal because they both were used as slot guys. I'm gonna give them a B minus. Uh, no, I'll give them a C plus. B minus to C plus. So altogether. If you factor these in, the wide receiving core altogether get a B. I'm going to give them a B altogether. 
you know, just because Terry McLaurin, you know, got the A. So I think that that's what's going to boost their ratings. Logan Thomas and – oh, I forgot to add Logan Th- – Logan Thomas, it just sucks that he got injured this year. Um, It, it really does. Um, You know, so I had a bonus here with the wide receivers, I guess. So Logan Thomas, you know, his presence was missed, you know, in the Raiders game that he played – he played very, you know, it was obvious that Taylor Heineke and him had a strong connection. So, you know, I'm going to give him a C just because, you know, injuries and stuff like that. But he did make, you know, clutch catches. Ricky Seals-Jones also fit in nicely. So that also, you know, factors in here as well as a pass catcher. John Bates was the pleasant surprise you know, if we're talking about team, you know, team awards for the rookies, offensively, for me, John Bates is the rookie of the year for the, you know, for Washington's offense. Um, Just because we weren't expecting much of him at all this year. And he stepped up when he needed to win Ricky Seals Jones and when Logan Thomas went down with injury. You know, Ricky Seals Jones also suffered an injury if you didn't know. But um, John Bates, you know, made clutch catches. You know, the game against the Eagles, he got tripped up and he didn't, you know, getting didn't. There was no foul on the play, so you know he made clutch catches here and there. You know, was a very good, solid blocker. So you know, from a guy that when Washington drafted him, didn't have only had two collegiate touchdowns. You know, didn't make catches that often. So you know, he was a pleasant surprise on the offense, you know, as a tight end. So with the wide receivers and tight ends, now I can officially give them a grade. Still comes out to a B to a C plus. So I'm going to give them a B to a C plus just because when it mattered altogether, John Bates, Logan Thomas, Ricky Seal Jones, Star McLaurin, Adam Humphreys, and DeAndre Carter, you know, made clutch catches when they needed to. Um, but you know, the F's, you know, obviously bring that, bring the, uh, bring the team down. So wide receiving core altogether gets a B for me. That's my report. Next up is going to be the offensive line. And that's what's coming up next, y'all.